So today we are unboxing the Civivi Thug 2. This one is in their green micarta with the bead blasted blade. And I would be lying if I said I wasn't thinking of buying this knife. When I first saw it, I was like, okay, that's going to be a pass for me. It's cool and all, but I'm not going to bother. It really didn't grab my attention. Then shortly after, after seeing some videos and photos of it, I'm like, oh man, something about it is really intriguing. The size being a little bit smaller. I've been into like those little bit of like smaller, medium sized knives lately. And that grind on the blade. I think it's kind of like a tanto upswept blade shape or whatever. And yeah, it basically I pulled the trigger on it. I got some other knives I'm going to compare to this. So stay tuned because I'm going to have some knives that are like a third the price, dirt cheap, and some that are like double the price, and some right around the same one that I don't know how they're going to look because, well, I still haven't unboxed this yet. But I kind of cherry-picked a few that I think are going to be good as a comparison. So let's check out this Civivi Thug 2 in a Green Micarta B-Blasted Blade. Let's see. So we got the typical stickers. I'm actually excited for this one. Like I said, initially I was like, nah, I don't really care for it. But then I just, I don't know, something took over and I was like, I got to try it out. I think it's going to be a chunky knife. I'm still kind of hiding it on purpose. I'm trying to put this away so we can both view it together for the first time. Let me just put this box somewhere on the, okay, can you stay? I literally, I'm trying to do that. Okay, let's see. First time seeing the knife, voila. All right. I'm liking it. That is a funky design. It's almost got like a little chunky chili pepper. Does that make sense? It's like a chunky chili pepper. See, I'm Italian. I got the little chili pepper hanging from my necklace. You know what? This is a lot thinner than I expected. When I saw this in videos, in photos, I thought this was going to be a chunky knife. It's really not. One of the knives I'm going to compare it to is going to be way thicker than I thought. Even the blade, holy. I don't know what it was. Something about this made me think it was a chunky knife. That's actually something I didn't like about it. So I'm actually glad that I got it. This feels awesome. This feels really, really nice. Uh, the micarta, I'm really liking it. I'm really liking this texture. This is called green, but maybe it's just me looking through the camera. This looks like a gray, like a black gray. I'm liking this, so to say, green better than, um, what is it, Kaiser does a green? That's more legit, like a, a green, but this I'm really liking. The bead blasted blade is unique because I don't have too many like that. It, it kind of, um, yeah, not satin. Yeah, bead blasted, whatever. I'm trying to think. Uh, I want to say it's like a smooth satin. All right, anyway much, much thinner than I anticipated. We have a backspacer with an integrated lanyard loop right there. I'm loving that. It gives it a nice clean aesthetic over there. All blacked out hardware, a deep-ish, well, a deep carry pocket clip that is also sitting pretty deep, but there's just one screw that's being prioritized up there for that backspacer and body to clamp it together. Fairly, fairly deep, you know, can't go wrong. That is super deep. Uh, yeah, we already did blade centering, I think. I don't know if I said it, but that's centered all right. This, I, I, can't, I still can't get over it. This blade is super thin. I got to pull it out right now. We're going to do a full comparison in a second. But one knife that I thought it would be comparable to is the Browse Blades Import Line Silent Soldier. It's a chunky knife. But you're going to see what I mean when I thought this guy was thicker. Do you see how much thinner that is? And then look at the blade stock. Uh, for some reason, I thought this Civivi would be on par with this massive knife, but it's not. And we're gonna do a comparison in a second with that. All right, let's open it. Oh, that looks really nice. I'm excited to carry. I got too many knives to carry. Literally, I gotta start doing like multiple knives a day at this point. Let's go for a thumb flick, see how it feels. Ha ha ha, just look at that blade. Holy smokes. The grind on that. Look at the reflections. That is beautiful. 
By the way, the deployment was fantastic. I just went straight to, oh, wow, that is smooth. That is smooth. So I didn't go over price yet. This guy's not cheap. $75.99. You're getting Nitro V, you're getting my Carta, but more importantly, you're getting really nice action. Savivi's been hit or miss with, for me, I think they stepped up their game. This feels really nice. Reverse flick, forward flick, the drop. Very, very smooth, slow roll. The detent's not super strong, but that's fine. Let's see if there's any blade play. I still can't believe how thin this is. Wow, zero blade play. In the hand, I thought it was gonna be a smaller knife, but it's deceiving. I get a full four finger grip. Would have been nice to have a little bit of jimping up here. There is none. Very smooth. Still can't get over this blade shape. The shape, the cut, everything about it, extremely unique. Let's take a look at the knife overall. The Nitro V, as always, is shining. Always shining. Because Civivi does an amazing job. It's almost like a mirror polish straight from the factory. Oh, I'm really liking this. Yes, the D10 is soft. It's soft, but the thumb stud, I guess, the orientation to the pivot allows you to flick it out with ease. Reverse, no problem. Just trying to show you guys. That's nice. That is really nice. Wow. Yeah, thoroughly surprised. Civivi, like I said, I've been unboxing a lot of Civivis and I've kind of found Kaiser's being a little bit up my alley. But right now, this Civivi really hit the spot. And the funny thing was, I was going to skip over it. Glad I didn't. Glad I got it. I'm really liking this one. All right, let's do some comparisons. I don't know if I went over everything yet. First of all, let's just talk about this. Nitro V comes in at $75.99 according to uh, Blade HQ. I'm using them for some stats. We have a blade length of 2.69 inches. Of course, it's kind of a crazy tanto shape, whatever you want to call. And it weighs 3.66 ounces. You know, 3.66 ounces, only 2.6 inch blade. It feels really light in the hand, so I wouldn't put too much thought into that. In the hand, it feels light, and more importantly, the action is phenomenal. And there's no um, blade play. I'm trying to flick it in like the weirdest manner ever right now. No blade play, so that smoothness is properly dialed in. All right, let's see some comparables. I'm going to put this right there. I'll have some info above. We're going to go straight to the one I was going to compare it to, which is a complete fail at this point. This is the Browse Blades Import Line Silent Soldier. He's got some use, as you can tell. It's a chunky knife. I have an unboxing with some other knives. I'll link in the corner, which included this one. This one has a D2 blade. Uh, what is that? Stonewash, I believe. These are, you know, plastic, whatever they call them, FRN, G, I don't freaking remember. Plasticky material, whatever it is. Unique texture, deep carry pocket clip. We're gonna, we're not gonna get too much into each knife separately, but a few things to notate is the blade is 2.5 inches. It weighs, you can see this guy's a chunky, both the knife, like the blade stock, and the body. Comes in pretty hefty at 4.25. The one thing I hate is... It has a very late detent and you're going to hit your finger because I have smaller fingers and look how close I am and right, boom, you nail yourself in the nail. No pun intended. You literally have to nail yourself in the nail. So with that being said, we're going to put them right here. I already went over the size, you know, but in case you forgot, just take a look. Huge, huge difference. All right. So we have that guy. We got this guy. We'll have some specs above somewhere. Got a few more I want to compare. Um, let's just compare for visual purposes. The Civivi Elementum. Just a knife for a comparable that people probably have it or have handled it. I'm just going to lay it down right here so you guys can see. Because I thought the Thug 2 was a lot smaller. But as you can tell, it's actually... It's smaller. 
but it's not as small as I thought, which is nice. I think it's like a perfect size. If you have smaller hands, it's a perfect size. Even larger, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So this one here, D2, blade steel. This is the non-button. I just unboxed the button lock. That one's Nitro V. D2, 2.9 inches, super lightweight at 2.89 ounces and comes in at $50.00. I think a hair over like $50.50. This was more for a comparison of just, oh my God, this is so smooth. I almost closed it on my thumb. That's how smooth it was. All right, so we got that, we got that, we got the Elementum. Next up, a little more expensive one, Benchmade Mini Griptilian. Expensive because we got some better steel with CPM S30V. I believe that's what it is. Do they notate it on here? Oh, is that it right? No, 154CM. I got my notes wrong. 154CM. So I'm not sure what the price on this. I think I was looking on Blade HQ and they notated a um, a different one with S30V or something. So this one, I'm just going to put down right here. And I'll have the notes above if I could find it for this exact one. Unless they change the steels, I don't know. It's definitely going to be a more expensive knife in general but you are getting 2.91 inch blade and extremely lightweight at 2.56 and obviously american made and last but not least we're going straight budget so we went from the most expensive to what's about to be the absolute cheapest let's make some room here the crkt peat or pite or whatever you want to call it i like this guy He's a budget knife. All around, he's a budget knife. 8CR, they, what is it? 8CR 13MOV um, uh, blade steel. But you got, again, your basic plasticky handles with a nice little texture to it. But you have a reversible, completely recessed screws, inset pocket clip, nice blue touch. I, I want to say that's blue anodized or blue coated. Is that aluminum? This feels metal to me. It looks nice. It sets it off nicely. You have an opening hole, which is better than a Spyderco opening hole. What do I mean by that? Completely smooth. No sharp edges. They contoured, beveled, whatever the word is, everywhere. Not the best to reverse flick, because as you can tell, there's an opening here that's cut out. But that opening is not there. Um, can you? Yeah, you can, but honestly... This is just going to be slow roll, or you can, if you can shove your thumb in there properly and do that. But this guy's been getting some use. As you can see, the blade's a little dirty. I think I sharpened him a few times. I can't remember. Did I even talk about the price on this? $19.99. And that's right now. I actually bought a second one of these. This is the user I've had for a while. I probably spent that like 20 bucks or whatever, but I was balling a couple weeks ago from Blade HQ. They had a sale going on. I think it was $15.99 if I recall correctly, give or take around that. If you could find this for under 20 bucks, I think it's a steal. Again, basic budget knife, but ergonomically and aesthetically, it is awesome. You're getting 2.63 inch blade. Thug 2 was 2.69. This is 2.63. Obviously, the blade steel much lower being that 8CR 13 MOV. But you have the weight, like a feather, 2.5 ounces. And $19.99, you can't go wrong. So, again, put it right there. And I'll have all the specs above. If you want to pause it, you can pause it now. Uh, if not, we're going to get to the end of this video, probably do a quick little cut test. All right, back to the Civivi Thug 2. I am thoroughly surprised. I'm really liking this. We're going to do a quick little cut test, and then I think we're going to call it a day. This is their Nitro V. Haha. <laughs> oh, man, this thing. This thing is nice. Getting a little caught up. Let's see. So this is actually pretty bad already Ooh, that is nice can we get in there yep oh that is nice all right let's clean this up real quick 
So the Civivi Thug 2. A lot of my videos recently have been a little bit harsh on some knives, and that's just because there's a lot of hype around a lot of knives, and sometimes it just doesn't live up to it. And ironically, this is a knife where I did not like, and I didn't really see much hype about it, and I genuinely like it. I love it, I could say. This is an awesome knife. I'm going to say, if you've been debating on it, don't let this pass by. You know, it's not the cheapest out there. At $76, I think the G10 is like a couple bucks less. But honestly, this bead blasted blade looks awesome. It's Nitro V. It's much thinner than I thought. Uh, and my Carta handles, I absolutely love. I think they look beautiful. They say green, but it looks like a black gray to me. If you like this blade shape, that's going to be a big decision maker for you. You know, it's definitely not for everybody. But other than that, I got to say, this guy surprised me. Glad I picked it up. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about the Civivi Thug 2. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.